Welcome, Young Tech Explorers. I'm Emrick, your instructor for this topic. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of input and output devices. These are the parts that help us talk to the computer, and help the computer talk back to us. From keyboards and mouse to microphones and speakers, each one has a special job. So buckle up, let's begin our digital adventure. Let's go. Let's start with input devices. These are tools we use to send information to the computer. That means when we want to type, click, draw, speak, or play a game, we use input devices to give instructions to the computer. Without them, the computer wouldn't know what we want it to do. One of the most common input devices is the keyboard. It has letters, numbers, and symbols, just like a typewriter. When you press a key, the computer knows exactly what you're saying. Next is the mouse, not the animal, of course. This little device lets you move a pointer on the screen, click buttons, and open things. The mouse is great for playing games, clicking on apps, drawing shapes. It's like your hand inside the computer. Other input devices include the microphone, which lets you speak into the computer. It turns your voice into digital signals. Then there's the camera or webcam which takes pictures or video of you. You've probably used it for video calls or selfies. And don't forget the game controller. It's made for fun. When you press buttons or move the joystick, your character jumps, runs, or flies, all thanks to input signals. Now let's flip the story and talk about output devices. These show us what the computer is doing or thinking. Once the computer understands your input, it sends the results out so you can see, hear, or touch them. That's output. Without output devices, we'd never see what the computer was doing. One of the most important output devices is the monitor, or screen. It shows you pictures, words, videos, and games. Everything you see on your computer comes through the monitor. Then there are the speakers. These play music, sound effects, and voices. Whether you're watching a video, listening to music, or playing a game, it's the speakers doing the talking. Need something on paper? That's what the printer is for. It takes files, drawings, and pictures from the computer and prints them out so you can hold them in your hands. A projector is another type of output device. It shows big images on a wall or screen, great for classrooms, movie nights, or presentations. It's like a giant TV powered by your computer. It's quiz time. Let's see how much you remember. Ready? Let's go. Question 1. Is a keyboard an input or output device? That's right. It's an input device. Question 2. Which device helps you hear sound from your computer, a speaker or a mouse? Correct, the speaker. Question 3. Which device lets the computer see you, the printer or the camera? You got it. The camera is an input device that captures images. Let's do a quick review. Input devices help you give instructions to the computer. These include, keyboard, mouse, microphone, camera, game controller. Output devices show you the results. These include, monitor, speakers, printer, projector. Remember, input goes into the computer, and output comes out of the computer. Awesome work today! You've learned how we interact with computers using input and output devices, like speaking into a mic or printing your drawing. Give yourself a big round of applause! <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more fun adventures only on Lil Coders. See you next time!